Um, now I'm going to talk a little bit about working with actors, how you pull a performance from an actor. So um, this is the casting process for many actors. This is the way they see it. Um, they find it unpleasant. And so I always try to make it pleasant. And I always, I mean, the, the trick is to get the actors to play, you know? So I want to tell actors, have fun. It's acting, have fun. And make it a fun process for them. Um, one of the biggest problems in directing actors is that directors want results. So they give results-oriented directions. Like they'll say, I want you to be creepier, or something like that. They'll use an adjective. I want you to be creepy. Well, that's really hard for an actor to play. Actors can play actions. They can play verbs, not adjectives. If you give them an adjective, you're gonna get a weird performance. So, for example, oh, there's that sound again, sorry. Um, so, uh, so what you wanna do is you wanna help actors identify these key questions that are the Stanislavski questions. So, they're very basic. Um, what, what does the character want? You have, that, that's something that an actor can play. What does the character want? What is the objective of the character? That's the, the, this is the language the actors understand. They need action verbs, like for example, you know, challenge. If you want the actor to be bigger, you challenge. You can get them to challenge the other character, to avenge, to change, to seduce. These are act, things that actors can play. So this is the kind of language you want to use with actors. Um, help them identify the, like this, these very basic things. This is what I do in the casting. This is what I talk about in my book. And it looks like common sense, but actually there's a lot of actors who miss this. So you just have to help them with these W questions. Who are you? Ask them. You know, help them figure this out. Who are you? Where are you? Who are you talking to? What do you want? And this is another thing. When you talk about the stakes, what are the stakes for the character? The highest stakes are life and death, right? So, if you want a bigger performance from the actor, instead of saying, give me more, give me bigger, say, the stakes are higher. If you don't do this, you're gonna die, right? If your character doesn't do this, he's gonna die. That's how you get a more from an actor. If you want less from an actor, if the actor's popping out, then you lower the stakes. You say, um, there's less at stake. You know, we're talking about a pack of bubble gum here, okay, so you don't have to give me so much. Something like that, that's, an act, that, that's a, something that an actor can respond to and act on. Um, what does the character need from the other character? That's another thing. That's something an actor can play, the need, the need of the character. So that's a good direction to give an actor.